Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my videos. Today uh, it's not going to be an unboxing, it's going to be a review of my new car. It's a uh, Hyundai Equus from 2011. And uh, well, they said at the dealership that it's going to be the ultimate, but it's actually the signature. The way you know that is that first of all here in the front on the ultimate uh, 2011 there should be a parking camera and it is not there um, then the on the back of the car the trunk is not motorized and the back seat is different from the ultimate I will show you that later um, now the first thing I noticed about the car was the emblem even if it's a Hyundai it doesn't look like a Hyundai emblem it's this hawk kind of thing it's to me it's reminiscent of the of the spirit of ecstasy from uh, from rolls royce then you will see this really large hood of the car the, the car is, is large and it's, it's it's imposing it's made to to rival the s-class and the, the, the BMW 7 Series, BMW 7 Series. Uh, the mirrors on the car, as you see, they have um, the, the the signal, the turn light on them. Uh, they are also motorized, and uh, they have defrosting in them. They are also auto dimming in the in in the night. When you're putting the car in reverse. Um, the mirrors will actually tilt down so you can better see what's going on at the wheels of the of the car and uh, the the car comes with a fob okay the the, the fob itself it's a it's a nice gadget <clears throat> if you press the lock button twice it will lock the car it will pull in the the mirrors and it will arm the the alarm like this You also you can also open the trunk or make the car uh, the, the horn go off it's like an alarm uh, this little button here if you press it it will release the actual key the physical key of the car in case you run out of uh, battery or something on the fob but how do you change the battery on this you take it to the dealer ah, all right. <coughs> now let's get inside of the car so we are going to talk about the inside of the of the car the the minute that you get into the car the the car usually turns out it gives you a little chime it shows you the equus uh, sign and then you start and stop the engine with the button it's not not with the key the key it's enough to to have it on you uh, as you can see you have a lot of buttons a lot of options on the car uh, give me the camera a little bit So let's start with the door, okay uh, You have of course the lock unlock open close door Then you have the the seat settings you can go up and down uh, Back and forth back and forth up and down and you can also extend or retract the the, the seat uh, for the memory settings you press set until you hear one beep and then you press the button that you want to memorize it to uh, until you hear two beeps so it's beep and then beep beep and then you memorize the the seat and the mirrors in the position that you need them to uh, <clears throat> lower you will see the the mirror adjustments this button here will retract the mirrors See, I'm gonna press it. Uh, yeah, the car needs to be on. <laughs> There's the Aquas. Uh, it went away. Did you love me? Yeah. So, when you press the button, mirror folds in. Press the button again, mirror folds out. 
and if I'm not mistaken you can do this only with one side by activating one of the mirrors uh, no it goes on both sides yep both sides good now to, right now the car is on but the engine is not on to turn on the engine you have to uh, step on the brake pedal and then push the start stop button and there you go now the car is on yes uh, we'll, we'll get to that too honey now uh, to continue we have here the adjustments for the mirror up down left right and then you choose the mirror that you want to adjust with left and right buttons now these are the uh, lock unlock doors and this here is to lock and unlock the window uh, the window settings now you have all four window uh, controls right here over there you have one window control and one uh, window lock uh, no actually door lock and unlock of course you have the the seat settings and uh, let's go into the back and I'm gonna hello. show you the back. <laughs> hello everyone. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Can I show it please Daddy? Uh, no, I'm gonna continue. Oh. So here in the back, you also have up and down, uh, up and down backward, and forward, backward, forward. So you can uh, lean a little bit in the chairs. But There's a little speaker here. This one doesn't work up and down. This one? Okay, this one doesn't work. Okay. So, and you have, unlike most of the other cars, the regular cars that are not in the luxury segment, you have control for both windows. You can mm -hmm. go driver's side or passenger side. This one also comes with a ash tree right there. Uh, you get some storage pockets down here and a little bit in the in the back of the of the seat now a thing that i like about these these windows are the window shades and these window shades are automatic so when you press the button once the shade goes down only you press the button again the window goes down and it also goes for that side yeah and we also have a window shade right here in the back uh, the window shade in the back is actually controlled from the buttons in the front now and here too yep and you also have the middle console here which is also an armrest yes and you press this button to take down the window from the back. yeah this button here will help you with the window shade in the back now the heat is all the the seats are also heated on both sides uh, you have the ventilation okay for for that guy over there uh, the reclining of that seat over there that seat can recline quite a lot and with these buttons here you can push this seat the the passenger seat you can push it forward and and have it uh, slide down and you also get a little storage compartment here in the armrest the seats are really comfortable here in the back uh, oh yeah you have the the volume control for the for the media channel up and down mode seek mute power so all of this is uh is right here you can control it from uh from the back and of course you got a very nice cup holder here yeah. you can you well, can't you can't close it okay so it stays open you can't close it yeah on the on the ceiling you got uh, reading lights two of them small one and a big one and you can control them from uh, from these buttons. The one uh, opens the two of these in the middle. Okay, so what is this? Room opens the little ones, and then these little buttons opens the the, the, the bigger lights. Uh, yeah. There you go. And there we have also a little handle. 
yeah you have the handle to to rest and me i am six foot one or six foot two something like that and uh the seat in the back is not just that it's adjusted for me to to drive it also slides back when you're when you're getting out of the car when you're closing the car the seat slides back <coughs> and uh, the 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 steering wheel goes forward so you can easily get out of the car so right now the seat is i think it's fully completely into the back you can't make it more into the back and look i still have leg room i'm still sitting comfortable here so yeah show it right here so like you still have some room right there yeah that showed the whole thing oh, okay so there's there's still enough room for me to sit here comfortable armrest here armrest on the window everything is in reach so it's a very very comfortable car i also have yeah. enough uh, room on the to, towards the ceiling so it's it's really nice mm -hmm. uh, another feature that I like about this car is the the sunroof oh, yeah. okay so you have this and then you have the the fully automated sunroom sunroof that you can control from there you yeah you pull it this way it will completely open you pull this one down or push it up something like that and it will only open on the show show it honey it will only open in the in the back uh. okay and now let's uh let's continue the front tour a little oh, bit okay. uh, here's the camera though. not yet okay and then we are going to show the back 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 like yeah we're gonna show them that too. so let's continue this is how you power it on okay you see the Equus logo and then it's doing its thing let's verify the system and everything now you get this warning screen and you have to push down on the media console to turn that on now on the media you have regular AM FM you have XM radio which is really nice uh, you can put up to six discs in there you have the phone information the navigation menu and map guide and this is all a back button here and if you can see it because of the Sun I can't see it yep there it is back button. okay uh transmission you can use it in automatic mode or you can put it on shift tronic and you can go up and down almost as you wish uh, right here it's the heating and cooling control for the seat you got both sides heated and cooled okay you can put the car in sports mode where you get a little bit better response and handling from the car and this button here it's for the suspension where you can choose to uh, make it a few inches higher in case you're on uh, on a road that it's uh, it, it has a lot of bumps and whatnot uh, instrument cluster okay this is the water temperature the rpm uh, odometer the interactive screen which you can choose from here from the display button okay so you press the display button and then the screen changes to different things this is the average speed the elapsed time uh, audio video off navigation so when you're navigating that um, that the compass right there yes thank you honey it will change to actual direction like arrows for like forward make a left and and so on and so forth and this is nothing that is turned off distance until that you can do until you reach an empty tank and again average and instant fuel economy uh, you get a very nice AC 
you can choose to circulate the air from outside uh, you can choose to circulate the air only from the inside of the car this is the front window defrost rear window defrost uh, when you activate the rear defrost it will also activate the uh, the, the, the mirror defrost okay the very nice uh, clock in the middle this is to turn off the ventilation ventilation up and down for how uh, strong you want it now the mode button is for how you want the ventilation to to blow right now it's on the feet and on the on the windshield on the feet only feet and uh, face face only windshield and feet feet only okay and if you push this guy it will only go on the windshield uh, climate control button so you can choose it's a it's a two zone climate control left and right so you can choose different temperature on one side and the other side okay you, you get these buttons here to choose the temperature there, film it from the back. Okay. Uh, right now the the sound is turned off okay uh, what else you can turn off the passenger airbag display let's see what the pass, pass this doesn't do anything the passenger button if you press it uh, these buttons here are for the infotainment center you can uh, load and unload discs right now there are no discs in the, the disc. In the infotainment center this is the power button for turning it on and off the sound is actually nice right now it's really low it's only on six and it's loud enough yeah you can go we, wait we're gonna do a very small test we're gonna go to the max Waiting for the base. So it goes insanely loud and the bass woofer the, the bass woofer well you can kind of use it for vibro massage <laughs> uh, right here you have the uh, a very nice glove box you can lock it with the fob key push that button it opens and another thing about the the, the glove box is that if you run out of battery this this here is where you have to put the key in. Uh, no, wait, 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 it's not there. It's in here somewhere. Yeah, that you have to put the key so that you can drive the car. It's here in the glove box, but I don't know exactly where. Here you can lock the car in case of uh, emergency with this button. Okay, you can lock the the trunk. Yes, when you uh, when you give it to to a valet, you push this button. It will lock the trunk, and then you can use your key to lock the, the glove box. And they won't be able. They will be able to move the car, but they won't be able to uh, go into the trunk of the car. Okay, so that's about the glove box, that's about it. Now on the floor, right now I have these rubber mats, that, but I put them in. The car came with this really, really, really nice uh, moquette. Uh, it's really plush, it's really fluffy. But I took it off because I didn't want to... 
to ruin it. Yeah, um, uh, you know, you have rain and mud and whatnot. And I, I don't want to put that in the car. Uh, the the doors and the dash they go all around with this nice wooden inserts, which I really really like. Uh, the the seats are with perforated leather and they get the ventilation which I love so right now you, you not only get air conditioning coming from from the air vents you also got air conditioning coming from the back of the seat and from your touche it's really 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 nice I like them but the back seats well they don't have the cold air they just have the um, warm air and they also come for um, the back which is super duper helpful in winter because the car gets so cold and like it's super cold on the seats so it's going to help us really a lot in the winter yes that's right honey so thank you for that so yeah and other controls that i like on the on the wheels okay so this is where you turn on the cruise control this is how you set it, this is how you resume it, and this is how you cancel it. Now, once cruise control is on, <clears throat> you can choose the distance between you and the car in front of you by pushing on this button. <coughs> right now, I can't show you that because, uh, yeah, I'm in a parking lot, so yeah, <laughs> it, it doesn't work. But uh, you, can, you can see it. So yeah, you have three settings. Uh, the first setting is three lines, and it's about 53 feet. The second setting it's two lines, and it's about uh, 30 feet. And the last one it's uh, one line, and it's about a car, a car and a half distance from the car in front of you. So these are the the, the distances that you can select using this this button. And if, <laughs> if you're in cruise control and the guy in front of you is braking, the car will be automatically braking, but it will not completely stop the car. So you still have to keep your eyes on the road. And if you're in bumper to bumper traffic, you have to press the pedal. Uh, an alarm will sound when you're getting way too close to the car in front of you and you, you will have to press the, the brake pedal. Now, <clears throat> another thing that I like is right here is this button here is the lane assistance uh, when you're cruising at a certain speed when you press it cruise you see the lane departure warning system LWLS light comes on and <coughs> it uses a camera that is right here behind the, the center mirror to, to see the road in front of you and when you're stepping on a line or the other line after five seconds more or less three to five seconds it will tighten the seat belt right here okay it will tighten it and it will uh, it will start shaking it and there's a small alarm that goes off to let you know that uh, you're you're not going the right way you're you're on the lines so this is helpful especially when you're driving in the night you're in danger to to doze off uh, this alarm will well basically keep you alive and if that happens pull over as soon as you can as fast as you can and and take a nap go take a power nap a half an hour at least and then go back on the road when you feel that you're ready do not fight fatigue you will lose okay 100 percent of the time if you're fighting fatigue you will lose okay so don't go i can do it you can't okay so be safe out there please that's very important it's not just about you it's also about the people around you your loved ones and their loved ones okay so keep this in mind and be safe i can't stress this enough be safe on the road um show down this one because it's like... okay so yeah the vanity mirror okay you open it and a small light comes on can, like... 
then of course uh, if you got sun coming from uh, from the side you can unhook it put it like this and the sun will not bother you does this one do the same? yeah this one does the, the same thing it, you can unhook it there it pivots from there and um, of course the the vanity mirror with the light uh, by the way the ceiling is all dressed up in this very nice uh, alcantara yeah. right here you have a uh, sunglass holder with um, a very nice material so it won't scratch your your sunglasses is it velvet? yeah velvet uh, this is your central rear, rear view mirror it will it has a small compass that will show you the direction you're headed uh, you also have three separate garage openers uh, and this button here I think it yeah these turn on the the garage openers okay but this is this mirror here is the only one that you will have to manually adjust to to see in the back uh, uh, you also get the rear view camera so there are two things that happens when you put the car in the rear okay I'm gonna put the car in the rear and I'm gonna show you what happens in the back okay so okay. Uh, there's the back window wait, no wait, wait. You're, you're, go you're going too close honey give, me, give this okay. to me why did you put that down I put, it, I put it back up okay. okay so let me see here uh, no this way okay so now I'm gonna put it into here and see what happened to the sunshade it automatically goes down so you have better vision okay another thing that happens is that the rear view camera comes on okay it's right there okay so you have a rear view camera on the car it will it helps a lot with uh, with parking and like i said the side mirrors they they pivot they go down look i'm gonna put it back in drive and whoop the mirror goes up rear view i'm gonna put it in rear boom whoa, mirrors go down okay and also the uh the sunshade wait a minute and ah, there it is okay so i put it in drive and the sun sheet goes back up so that's a very nice feature i don't know if it's absolutely necessary but it's a nice feature to have also you can control that uh, the shade from from here okay you got a parking sensor on top of the camera you got the sunshade these are uh controls for the for the car for the way it rides this is a electronic parking brake if you pull it it comes on uh, no actually if you push it it comes on if you pull it it goes off okay this is the intensity of your instrument cluster lightning okay that's about it from inside the car oh yeah the I almost forget the steering wheel you have electronic um, steering wheel control in the way that you can choose to go up down inside outside okay and this button here it's a really really nice feature to have in Canada in the winter which is steering wheel warming yep click that and the leather wrapped portion of the steering wheel will get warmed up and you can keep your hands right there and it will not freeze okay on this side you have the bluetooth controls of the of the phone okay you can answer you uh, you can uh, reject and this here is uh, voice commands to use to dial the phone and of course the honk <coughs> yeah if you go away from the car and you have your fob on you the car will sound the alarm uh, right now it's not why 
Okay, it will do it once. <laughs> Second time it won't. Okay. The no. trunk. The trunk, yes. Okay, so here we are. From the back of the car, you can see the two uh, exhausts. They, they are really, really quiet, which I like about it. Okay, you can see the Equus right there and the Equus logo and it doesn't say Hyundai anywhere in the back of the car. Okay, you have the, the tail lights. Okay. And now with the with the trunk, you have the camera right here. This is the rear drive camera. And if you put your hand over here when you have the fob on you, the, the key fob, you can open the trunk. You can also open it directly from the key fob or from inside the car where I showed you previously. Where? Wait, this is it. So this is where you have to push to open it, okay? You can see here, uh, light, camera, and this here is the pad that you have to push to open the trunk. Now I have some stuff in there, don't mind that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, the trunk is very big, very spacious, you can put a lot of things in there. You can even put me in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, this here, came with the car is protection from for when you're loading the car so you don't scratch it up okay you just push it over and there you are you are not scratching the lip of the car when you're loading stuff in oh. under the carpets here we have a uh, spare tire and everything you need to change the tire that lever here over there is that so you can take your stuff and Hang it there like this. So it doesn't roll over. For example, if so, you have eggs, you can put them there. Yeah, so they don't roll over and when you're driving and all that. Yeah. Uh, good. So. Okay. Uh, here they might uh, get stuck in there. Like. One thing that I really, really like about the car and that my beautiful daughter couldn't shut up about when we started using this car okay so what i like about it is that it's really quiet yeah. and smooth yeah okay so my daughter just couldn't <laughs> shut up about it the whole day oh my god daddy oh my god oh my god oh my god it's so smooth it's so smooth it's like the other car is going da -da 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 -da, and this one is going shh and this is it's like that yeah yeah it's even this really smooth so you get a very high-end car at half the price of a mercedes-benz or a bmw 7 series yep this car here brand new was uh sixty thousand dollars around and a brand new s-class will be $100,000, dollars Well, so that's a lot. the price. Uh, even like this, I bought it. It's a 2011 car. It has 80,000 kilometers on board. Uh, and it costed me $17,000. The same condition S-Class would be 25000 or more. Also, if something breaks on the car and you need to fix it, it will be a lot cheaper than fixing a Mercedes. Me, personally, I don't really give a crap about the name of the company, about the brand. I like to have a lot of quality for the smallest price possible. Yeah, I'm cheap like that, what can I say? <laughs> so. This is what you get here. You get high end quality for a very low price. And I like that. If you guys want a car that feels good, that drives good, then I can I can recommend this car. Yes, I can recommend it. I love it. Okay? Especially 
since because before driving this car I was driving that car okay this is a 2005 Buick Terraza uh, go a little bit okay. go longer so they can see the whole car okay so 2005 Buick Terraza uh, I like the car also it had a ton of space yep it drove me to where I needed to go but there was always something breaking on it yeah from 2013 until now 2018 every single year I had to fix something on this car every yeah. year $700 or more went into repairing this car and it would always break down when when I needed to go somewhere and do something on it for like three or four days because it was in the shop getting repaired yeah so I hope I'm not gonna get the same thing with this guy here especially since I paid separately a four thousand dollar extended warranty that will give me another eighty thousand kilometers on it or four years whichever comes first mm -hmm. from one end to the other anything that breaks on the car they will fix it free so how's that for a warranty whoa that's so cool yep yep so that's about it folks um yes honey what do you want to ask i want i want to say that when you said that there is no hyundai name on the car there is one right there on the hyundai where yeah right here oh yeah this this is not on the car itself oh. this is just the protection for the for the plate oh okay okay so that can be easily changed if i want to all right but it's not okay on the so car. one thing i forgot to show you is under the hood Popped it. Now I'm gonna open it. There you are. It's a V8. Not much to see. Everything is nice and covered and, and tucked away. Looks pretty clean. You have the oil dipstick. Okay. Uh, this right here is for your windshield washer. And over there is the um, uh, brake fluid okay check yeah there's this is the maximum this is the minimum so there's more than enough fluid in it uh, there's nothing else you can actually see let me see here coolant coolant also comes with a big stick there's enough coolant in there Okay, so this is the maximum, this is the minimum, we are somewhere in between, we're good. The engine is also running at this time, so it's nice. And uh, this is for the air conditioning, the high pressure port. And over there in the back is the low pressure point, port, in case you need to charge it up or oh, something, but it's not the case. This, this is for the... Uh, for, for the light adjustments, okay, uh, left, right, uh, up, down, okay. um, air suspension control. And so, I think that another thing that you really like about it is that you don't need to like uh, try to get it up, it, you just open it and then it's done. Yeah, it has the, the air cylinders, it opens it up very easily. Let me check something here. It's a good thing I opened it because it one? looks like I am on minimum when it comes to steering liquid, steering fluid. I'm gonna get some uh, fluid and get it in there. Yep, minimum. I got some at home. I'm gonna bring it back and uh, replenish it. It's not a problem. This is a really huge battery. It's not the battery, huh? honey. The battery is actually in the trunk of the car Whoa. on the right side. This here is just the engine. Oh, just the engine? Yeah. Is this the engine that is so big? Yeah. Whoa, that's huge. And, as I said right now, the engine is running. No vibration, no sound. Once again, smooth and quiet yep and even the seat belts are so smooth <laughs> thank you very much folks bye bye